Hello everybody and welcome to Galen Catholic School and to the preschool parent meeting. We're so excited to invite you into our building today. You'll get a look around the classrooms and we want to introduce you to a few people to get started. So my name is Amy Jungers and I'm the development director here at Galen Catholic. This is Mrs. Lori Nussbaum and she is the pre-K through six principal. And we're so happy that Mrs. Nussbaum will lead us in prayer today. Welcome everyone. Let's begin, like we always do at Galen Catholic, with prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Good and gracious God, we thank you for the gift of Catholic education, for the opportunity to welcome children into our building and to build positive relationships with families. Please bless this meeting and help us to do our best as we welcome the Jays newest to the nest, amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let's get started, everybody. Parents, during this particular meeting, we'll be explaining the three options that are available to your child for preschool. We'll talk to you about the registration process and when the due dates will be coming up. And then we want to share with you some of the bright spots and highlights that your child will experience while attending Galen Catholic. By now, you've received a folder with information that we have sent your way. If you haven't received one, please contact our office and we'll get one to you right away. Inside the folder, you will find lots of information. On the left-hand side is a list of materials that are needed for registration, as well as other facts and information about Galen Catholic, including the dress code, supply list, and information about celebrations that we have at Galen Catholic. On the right-hand side, you'll find the actual documents that will need to be returned by March 19th. This is all part of the registration process, and we're here to help you if you have any questions. Um, students who are eligible for preschool at Galen Catholic must be four by September 15th of the year in which they're enrolled. Our students, pre-K through 12, follow a dress code. It makes life very simple, and getting dressed in the morning becomes very easy because there's a simple code to follow. There are often special days of dress that the principal will announce, and on those days, dress code is optional. Galen Catholic preschoolers follow the same school calendar as the rest of our school. Well, we'll begin sometime after August 23rd and conclude toward the end of May. There will be several days during the preschool year that teachers have to attend in-service training and parents will be notified of those early on in the year so they can prepare for those days when preschool will not be open. Transportation is a parent's responsibility. Students may arrive anytime after eight o'clock and if they're here for the full day program, they be, may be picked up anytime after 3.15. Those who are here for the other two options may be picked up at 11 or 11.30. One of the things that Galen Preschool does every fall is to provide home visits. During this time, the teachers will either come to your house to meet your family, or perhaps you'd rather meet at the ice cream parlor or the park, or maybe you would prefer a virtual meeting. In any case, the reason for the visit is for your child to meet the teacher and to become comfortable with that person. The teachers will be asking you lots of questions about your child so they can be prepared on day one with things that are of interest to your little one. In the fall, we typically have an open house the day before school starts. It's a great day for families to come, see the classrooms in person, and drop off supplies and have your child ready and excited for the next day of school and maybe sleep a little bit. The first day of school is typically an all day and it's the most exciting day of the year. Galen Catholic Preschool does have three options for you and your family to choose from. There is a half day option, there's a half day plus faith 30 minutes, and then we have a full day option for your kiddos. Take a second to view the next couple of slides to read through the details and understand the differences between all three to find out what's best for you and your kiddo. We're so excited about the three preschool options that we have available to our families. With the free preschool, which runs from the 8.30 to 11 time frame, we are accredited with the state of Iowa. For the afternoon portion, we are licensed by the Department of Human Services. 
We are really proud of the fact that for years we have received a five on the quality rating system that is used to um, evaluate preschools and daycares. We'd love to have your child join us. Here's how the invoices and payment work for your preschool student. So if you have other children here, you will actually pay a separate invoice for your TK through 12th grade students. Preschoolers will get their own separate invoice. Invoices will be sent out in August and the time frame for payment runs September through May. So you may have a monthly payment for all nine of those months. You could choose to pay two separate payments or you could pay one payment in full for those preschool options. Lunch payments will need to be made separately. So if your child is coming for the full day preschool option, make sure when you look at that investment schedule from us that you look for that line item describing the PM snack plus lunch and you'll see how much it will cost for your lunch payment. Now that we've talked about all that paperwork, let's go ahead and get into the classrooms. Let's meet Mrs. Schreiner and Mrs. Bickford. My name is Marie Schreiner. I've been at Galen for five years and I've been teaching preschool for four years. Well, at Galen Catholic Preschool, your child will spend time discovering, exploring, and learning all through play. You would be amazed at the things your child learns while they are playing. A typical morning in preschool begins with playing with some toys at our tables in the morning when we arrive. Then we have prayer with the rest of the school over the PA. Then we have our morning message board. We have snack. Following snack, we have um, outdoor play or some large molar movement. Following that, then we have center time where we get to play in our different centers. This is an example of one of our centers. This is our dramatic play center. Following, or following center time, then we do small group activities where we work on a specific skill that we've been doing that week. And then after that, we have, for those who stay the entire morning, we have religion. During the faith portion of our day, we learn about God and the things that God made in our world. We also listen to Bible stories and watch Bible stories. And then throughout the day, we have prayer. We begin our day actually with prayer. So all the children will receive some little bit of prayer and we participate in different prayer things that our school participates in, such as Advent gift bags, where we put together um, different objects, such as socks and hand sanitizer, for, and give it to the residents of the nursing homes. And we also help out with collecting things for Mission Honduras. Some of the fun things we get to do in preschool, we get to go to the pumpkin patch, visit the library, our most recent one was AgriVision. The kids love the big tractors. We also go to the post office and mail our friends a letter. And we also visit the nursing home when we deliver our Advent gift bags. And then we play bingo with the residents at the nursing home, which is one probably one of our favorite ones. I enjoy doing all the things we do during the day with the kids. One of my very favorite things is snack time. Now that may sound a little interesting, but it's a great time to get to listen to the kids have conversations with each other and they tell you different things. It's just a very informal time and it's a great time to get to learn and know the kids. I love being at Galen Catholic because it's a place where I can incorporate my faith into my daily living. And also we have a great team of teachers that I get to work with. And I feel that really helps as far as your kids even because then your kids are getting the best and all the teachers want your children to succeed. My name 
is Allie Bickford, and I have been teaching um, preschool for 10 years, um, and I actually started the preschool program here at Galen Catholic. When you come to Galen Catholic, we want you to know that our philosophy is that every child is unique, every child has differences, and every child is welcome into our classroom. Many families often ask how they can prepare their child for preschool. Um, there are many different ways that you can prepare your child. One is to teach independence. When students come into our classroom, we encourage them to take their coat off, take their book bag off, zip up their book bag, um, get folders out, um, change shoes if they need to, all those different kinds of things really help us um, teach independent in our classroom. Another way that you can prepare your child for preschool is when they are eating their snack or their supper, you can allow them to open up packages by themselves. You can allow them to pour their own milks. You can allow them to uh, feed themselves. And I really encourage them to ask questions. So if they need help that they really ask, um, use their own words rather than you automatically doing it for them. Reading is very, very important for you and your child. So I really encourage you to read to your child every single day, whether you read to them, have maybe a sibling read to them or allow your child to read by themselves. And when they do that, all they have to do is look through the pictures and see if they can come up with words associated with the pictures. Daily in our classroom, we will have center time where the students will have an opportunity for an entire hour to play with all the toys that are in our classroom. One big way to prepare your child for school is to allow your child to clean up their own toys all by themselves. So Mrs. Lane and I and Mr. Schreiner will not help your child pick up any of their toys. They will pick them all up all by themselves. It's very easy for our classroom to pick up all their toys because each tub is labeled. So they will easily know where to put the toys and where they'll need to go. In our classroom, we use creative curriculum. Creative curriculum means that there is no paper pen activities, so students will not be bringing home worksheets in their folders every single day. Instead, students will be on the ground, playing with manipulatives, exploring with materials, and learning through real life experiences. Gold is our data assessment that we do every day in our classroom. Uh, Mrs. Lane and Mrs. Schreiner and I take data on your child every single day, multiple times a day. You will get three report cards throughout the year, one in November, one in February, and one at the end of the year. And this will tell you uh, if your child is ready for TK or kindergarten next year. Mrs. Schreiner talked to you about what our morning schedule looks like. Our afternoon schedule um, will be lunch. They will come in here and um, eat lunch in our classroom every single day. We will serve family style lunch, meaning that kids will put their own food on their plates. They will pass things around to their friends and neighbors next to them. Um, and they, will, they are encouraged to try every um, food that they are eating. After lunch, we go to letter people. Letter people is where we learn a letter uh, every week. And so we focus on that same letter every single day of the week and we do different activities. We do a lot of smart board activities. We learn um, with letter pe people puppets. Uh, we do crafts. Uh, we learn how to write the letter and we learn that what a capital letter, a lowercase letter, and it sound all say and make. We will also have rest every single day. We will rest for our one hour from one o'clock to two o'clock. Rest mats are provided for your child. Um, they are the three inch rest mats, which provide lots of support for your child so they're not sleeping on the ground. Um, students are encouraged to bring a blanket if they would like, and that will stay in their book bag and go home every day. After rest, we'll get up and students will come at their tables to enjoy snack. Once we get done with snack, then depending on the weather, we will either go outside for the rest of the day or we will have center time in our classroom where the students are able to play with all the toys. At the end of the day, we um, come back to our circle spots and this is where we sing songs, read books, and say our prayer. My favorite part about teaching at Galen Catholic is bringing God into all of our daily activities. Thank you for visiting my classroom and I'm so excited to meet all of our friends in the fall. We are so excited to meet your children this fall. The future is bright for your students starting in our preschool program at Galen Catholic. You can tell that our teachers and staff will be dedicated to you and your child. When they walk through our doors, they will be welcomed with open arms and have a wonderful experience. We hope that you will look towards their future and continue their education here at Galen Catholic. Thanks again for joining us today. If you have any questions from the content that we reviewed today or anything about the future with your student, please make sure to contact our office today.